let's talk about our universe in this ASMR video about curiosities and facts about some statistical data and what the scientists may discover until today. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Madoya and this time it's a quite different ASMR video. Let's make our journey together in this beautiful universe of ours. Maybe you may ask yourself how old is the universe, right? Well, the scientists or the astronomers, they determined that our universe is about 13.7 billion years old. 13.7 billion years old. If our universe is so old, how old is our own solar system, the Milky Way? Well, in comparison between two universes itself and our own solar system, so our solar system is only 4.6 billion years old. Well, in comparison, it's quite young solar system. Okay, you may see the stars in the night over the sky and may you ask yourself how many stars there are in the universe? There are some estimations without any accuracy but there are between 30 and 70 billion trillion stars. So, between 30 and 70 Billion trillion stars. Who's gonna count them all? Come on. All right. Since we are here in our universe, let's see which is the largest galaxy ever found by the human technology. Well, it is one that it's considered one of the biggest or the largest until today according to the uh, technology advancement and the name of that galaxy is the Condor Galaxy is a colossal spiral galaxy disturbed by the smaller IC4970 well this one the Condor Galaxy it's considered now to be the largest galaxy that has over 770,000 light years. So, you know, they are um, making measurements in light years. So, the diameter it's 770,000 light years. So, one fascicle of light will take about 707,000 years to cross the galaxy from one point, from one extreme point to another. Right? So, now, let's move a little bit closer and talk about some black holes. Yes, we have black holes nearby and the closest black hole to the Earth is Gaia BH1 located just, it's just under 1600 light years so if we travel uh, 1600 with the speed of light so if we if we travel 1600 years with the speed of light we may reach that black hole called Gaia Beach one and this one remember it's the closest it's the closest 
closest black hole discovered by humans. Well, now let's talk about a little bit about the planet in our solar system. Why Pluto is the smallest planet? And because Pluto is known as the smallest planet. Well, Mercury is a uh, bigger than Pluto, but it's still considered the smallest planet because Pluto's designation as a dwarf planet. So, in some theories, Mercury is considered the smallest because Pluto is not considered a planet of our solar system, it's considered a dwarf planet. And others say that Pluto is the smallest planet because it has the title of a planet also. So, it, 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 there is some, are some de debates. So, because we are in our solar system, let's see which planet has the highest amount of satellites. And I, I mean natural satellites, of course. Well, that will be Sa Saturn. Saturn has the largest number of natural satellites or moons. It has 83 in number with known orbits. You know that a natural satellite to be considered a natural satellite, it has to be its own orbit, its own predefined trajectory and orbit. The second planet after Saturn with natural satellites is Jupiter with 80. So, in comparison, Saturn has only with three more satellites than Jupiter, and this makes Saturn the planet with the highest amount of natural satellites. Well, in the opposite direction or side, we have two planets that have no satellite at all, and uh, those two planets are Mercury and Venus. They don't have moons or natural satellites. Now, it's time to move to the stars. Let's talk about stars, because they are so bright in the dark skies, and they're fascinating. But you may ask yourself, which is the nearest neighbor star? Yes, the closest star to Earth. It's Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri or Proxima Centauri. And it's the closest star to our own. But the distance from Earth to that star it's still 4.3 light years distance, so we need to travel 4.3 years with the speed of light in order to reach Proxima Centauri. That's impossible now. With our technology, this distance can be traveled, will take about 6,300 years in order to reach that star. That's why it's impossible. It's impossible to reach the star with our current technology and this we are talking about the closest star to the Earth. Alright, now maybe it's time to talk about also some asteroids. The largest asteroid that has been discovered that's there in outer space. It's called Ceres. It's called Ceres. And it's about one quarter the size of the moon. So this is a huge, huge asteroid because it's one quarter the size of the moon and orbits the sun between Mars and Jupiter in a region called the Steroid Belt. The Steroid Thank God that 
is staying there and it's not coming closer to our beautiful earth unlike most of the series, series is a, has a spherical shape but it's not a planet it is an asteroid well that's the closest and uh, also the biggest asteroid ever discovered about comets Halley Comet Halley Comet is arguably the most famous comet in history as she has a periodic comet return to Earth vicinity about 70 years so this kind of uh, comet this comet it's making a loop in our solar system and we can see two times in our lifetime because it's coming back to near Earth every 75 years right so twice in our lifetime we have to see it on the sky the last one was uh, nearby earth was in, in 1986 and the next one the next date when we gonna have the opportunity to see it it's 2061 and this is about Halley Comet which is our, in our solar system right now, the largest known star in the universe ever discovered is UI Scuti, and it's a variable hypergiant with a radius around, hold on tight, 1700 times larger than the Sun. So, UI Scuti is 1,700 times larger than the Sun this is almost it's a huge gigantic I don't know how to say it but calculating the fact that the Sun is over 106 times larger than the Earth try to imagine that this um, this um, Hypergiant US Goody is 11, uh, 111,000 over the times larger than the Earth. Right, we're gonna stay here in the uh, celestial objects because how big was the meteor or asteroid that killed dinosaurs? Well, about 10 kilometers, according to abundant geological evidence, an asteroid roughly about 10 kilometers or 6 mile, miles in diameter across hit the Earth 65 million years ago, leading to an extinction of so called dinosaurs well you know that each day many asteroids with different sizes but very small in diameter from a few millimeters to a few centimeters are hitting the earth and the scientists have calculated that this average R is between 10 and 50 meteorites every day right but they're harmful and they're not harmful and it's not a big deal to see them on the sky in the night bright in the sky especially in August but now let's talk about the biggest asteroid that has hit the Earth and that asteroid wasn't extinguished the dinosaur it was a different one 
so the stereotype hit Fred Ford or Fred Ford in South Africa is estimated to have been one of the largest ever to strike art in its history. The Fred Ford impact is the largest verified impact structure on art. The crater diameter is was 300 kilometer wide. In 2022, the bullet was estimated to the with the current technology to be, or it was between 20 to 25 kilometers or 12 to 16 miles diameter. The impact structure's age is estimated to be 2.023 billion years. So in the in the past. 2.23 billion years ago, a huge steroid has hit South Africa and he had diameter between 20 and 25 kilometers and created a crater over 300 kilometers wide. That was the biggest ever measured strike by an asteroid on our Earth. These are some facts about our universe or our cosmic or our and I hope you enjoyed this kind of video because this is some kind of experiment for me because it's the first time when I'm doing such a video. Alright, but if you like this video and if you enjoy it just leave a comment below and I will continue to make a uh, complete new series about this type of subjects. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.